Eliza. For this lab, you will need gloves, safety glasses, antibody solutions, TMB, an ELISA plate, PBS, PBS BSA, PBS tween, pipettes, paper towels, sulfuric acid. Obtain one goat anti-rabbit plate and one eight well strip coated with protein G. Mark the wells that you will be using in the A through H direction. Be sure not to use wells that are already marked. Pipette 200 microliters of PBS wash solution into each well you will be using in both the strip and the full plate. Empty by tapping on a paper towel. Repeat two more times. Add 100 microliters of the diluted human antibodies to well 3 of each plate. Add 100 microliters of the diluted goat antibodies to well 5 of each plate. Add 100 microliters of diluted rabbit antibodies to wells 2, 4, and 6 of each plate. Add 100 microliters of PBS BSA to wells 1, 7, and 8. Incubate for 30 minutes at room temperature. Empty your wells by inverting on a paper towel. Wash the wells you are using three times with 200 microliters of PBS tween wash solution. Empty the wells again on a paper towel. Add 100 microliters of secondary antibody, diluted goat anti-rabbit IgG conjugated with HRP to wells 1, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Add PBS and BSA to wells 2, 7, and 8. Incubate at room temperature for 45 minutes. Empty and wash each well three times with 200 microliters of the PBS tween wash solution. Add 150 microliters of TMB ELISA to wells 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 7. Add PBS to wells 6 and 8. Incubate for 15 minutes at room temperature or until there is good color formation. Stop the reaction by adding 100 microliters of dilute sulfuric acid. Determine the amount of color formation in each well qualitatively by observing it visually. 
Set the wavelength on the plate reader to scan at 450 nanometers, and be sure the printer is also turned on. Press the drawer button to open the drawer. Place your plate in the drawer and press the button again. Press read to start the instrument.